You know what's interesting is I've realized that we're the hypocrites in our own life. Oh yeah, massive. And what I mean by that is we... Okay, here's an example. I was at a mastermind uh, with Cole Gordon a couple of weeks ago. And everyone in there, there was about like 10, 15 of us. Everyone in there is, I mean, there wasn't anyone that who has a company that doesn't produce five to $10 million a year, minimum, minimum, right? Yeah. And, you know, we're all at the golf tournament, we're hanging out, whatever. And I don't know how we started talking about, uh, uh, the next day we were all flying out. We started talking about trips and planes and all that stuff. And, uh, oh, one of our friends has like uh, one of those like, uh, like, uh, like small planes or whatever. So they were talking about that. And, um, and then everyone was like, oh, I'm flying this, I'm flying that, I'm flying that. I'm like, oh yeah, tomorrow. I'm like, oh shit, I actually got, just got a text message. I got to check in. Um, and then I don't know what I was talking. I'm like, yeah, it's frontier. And then literally there was five people around me. They all stopped and they turned around and looked at me. They're like, you're flying with frontier. I was like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, wait. Is that a budget airline? It's like, wait, i uh, is that a budget airline in the states? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like a low tier, you know. Gotcha. They're like, uh, they're like, wait, Frontier doesn't have first class. I was like, yeah, I don't fly first class. I fly economy. Yeah. Literally, their fucking jaws drop, bro. Drop. Yeah, I bet. And they're like, what the fuck? You don't fly first class? I was like, I know. Like, why? I'm like, I don't know. I just don't value it. All of my flying is like with an, like, you know, it's not like you, you know, you're flying from like Europe to the US or whatever. So you're on yeah. planes like 10, 15 hours. I'm like, my flight is like here, San Diego, Arizona. It's like two to five hours max. And I just don't see the fucking point of spending three times more. I'm standing in the same line. I'm waiting for my bag. I'm like, like if it was like flying private, I would be okay. I'm totally for it. But flying private is like 10, 15 times more. So it's like, okay, that's stupid. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't see the I don't see the value in it, you know. Okay. So yeah, no, I hear you. So that's yeah. They, let's, let, 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 let me just finish this thought. So that's one for it. I don't value it, right? I don't value flying private, uh, flying first class. They, 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 they do. Two seconds later, we're talking about cards. This is something I've never said to anyone, never mentioned it anywhere. This has been like three months. But recently, I bought a very expensive car, and you know about it, right? Yeah. Multiple yeah. six figures. And I casually said what I bought and then went on with conversation and they all stopped and looked at me again. It's like, wait a second, you're not going to just fucking like, just say that in passing and move on. What the fuck should I speak to this video? And one of them goes to me, wait a second. So you don't fly first class and don't value it, but yet you have a multi six figure car. I was like, yeah, these are just the things that I value and the things that I don't value. And that's when I stopped and thought about it. I'm like, why is that? Yeah. That's so interesting. It is fucking interesting. And, um, dude, I, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's your values, right? Everyone has a different version of their core values, the things they value and what they find valuable. And that's it.